I always say that today a woman has been reduced to basically an object of sex, an object of attraction for a male, and all the males must just fill their eyes and just their eyes must be quenched and that's it. So when you see the naked women of the street, you don't appreciate your own wife. You don't because you've seen much better than her. You've already seen it. So Allah says, look, oh man, lower your gaze as well. It's no excuse. Even if they're doing that, lower your gaze. You know, there was a story of one of the mashayikh, one of the scholars. He mentions a story that there was a man in the United States. He, he was a religious preacher. He entered a lift, a young man. And when he was in the lift, they, the lift stopped at a certain floor. And a female entered it. She was semi-nude. And he looked down and he did not look at her. And she was agitated, irritated. First time in her life, somebody's not looking. And she's stamping. And she's doing, you know, trying to make a noise. making. And the two of them are alone in the lift. And he just looks down. He doesn't say a word. He, his lift stopped. She wanted to go higher. When he came out, she came out behind him. This is a true story. She came out behind him and she created the discussion. Hey, you know what? I'm very offended. Am I so bad, so dirty, so ugly that you couldn't even look? Now she's being honest. This is how the women have been trained that you need to attract men at large. You need to attract men at large. So am I, am I this that you couldn't even look? You couldn't even. And he says, look, my sister, you know what? I'm a Muslim. I respect you so much, really. And I have a wife and I have this and I have that. And I am, you know, and I would not, I don't want to insult myself and yourself by, you know, staring at you and what am I going to gain by it? And he explained to her in a beautiful way. And she asked for his number. Now imagine if someone asked you for their numbers. Wow, mashallah. And respectfully, the man agreed. And he felt that, you know, I will get the people in touch with her and explain. After some time, she accepted Islam. And she says, Islam has liberated me from being a person who, who cannot leave the home without half an hour in front of the mirror, without spending on different types of designer clothing, without Islam has liberated me. I just put on a black cloak and I walk out. That's it. I just put on a cloak. And you know, it doesn't have to be black, but the dark colors are better because it makes you less conspicuous. Imagine you have the abayas, which are pastel green and pastel orange. I don't think it would go down well. Subhanallah.